Hey guys, it's Ayers here from As Ayers, and today I'm actually going to be doing a video that has been the most requested video I've had so far. Which is how to set up a Facebook ad properly and the things that I do um, to be able to produce the results that I do. So, a couple of things I'm going to say first if you haven't go over to my youtube channel it's as a is here and subscribe for these videos to come up um, in the future that you'll see and if you're not already part of the shopify six-figured wizardry um, facebook group go um, search it on facebook it will come up and join the group and i'll approve you as soon as i can um, it's basically about a group um, the group's going to be about uh, Shopify tips and things that I won't be sharing on YouTube all the time or I won't get to it'll just be a lot easier to share tips and a lot faster and it's also a community for you guys to basically interact with each other and help each other out so let's get started so first you need to have a Facebook ads account um, I would suggest signing up for a business manager account don't do it through your personal account like I'm showing you here is an example that this is my personal account you can see here but sign up with a business account. Um, it doesn't have to be a company or anything like that. It can be still in your name, the, the account name, but just make sure that it is done through the business manager because Facebook uh, may block your account if you're doing it uh, through personal for business reasons, they don't like that. So just make sure you sign up for a business uh, manager account. And once you do that, just click create a campaign. You'll come to this page here now I've got a lot of questions about if I do conversions or PPP ads, which is this engagement here. I do not run PPE engagement ads only because for me it's basically for engagement and I'm not looking for engagement, well I am, but I'm not looking for engagement alone, I'm looking for sales basically. So engagements will tell you, engagement will tell you if the target you are targeting is relevant enough to go ahead and actually spend more money. Now I know a lot of people go and use this route, but my my method is going through to go straight to conversions is I want to sell first rather than engagement. Engagement will tell you if it's worth doing, but sales will 100% tell you that it's working. So for me, engagement is not something I run because I feel like if I'm going to spend $5 testing on engagement, I may as well spend $5 to see if I can get a sale. So we're going to click conversions here and you just name the campaign so we'll just do test one and usually what i do is i name the campaign the name of the product so if a product is um what are we going to do we'll just do a necklace or a baby i don't know baby necklace and then what i also do is i'll put the targeting after that so okay i need to set up this account Okay, and Sydney, okay. Now, okay. All right, now you come to this page where you need to select your conversions. Now, even on a, on a, um, <clears throat> on a new account, I actually had my second store set, um, set up and I actually used straight away the purchase pixel. So first you need to create a pixel. I'm not gonna go through that right now, it's pretty easy. Just click this button and um, it creates your pixel for you and once you come back here you see the options and the different options they will be in red because there is no there has not been a conversion done on that pixel yet so they will be in red so don't worry about that it will turn green once um, once the conversion of that specific conversion has been done on your store so there will be add to cart purchase um, add payment info leads all that stuff there but just click purchase and leave it there then we'll come down to here and we'll select our um, our country that we're going for. So I usually start with the United States, as that's the biggest the biggest audience. And depending on the niche that I'm in or product, generally I have I have in my experience no one above the age of twenty, no one below the age of twenty two really buys anything. So I leave it between starting between 22 or 25 up to 65 plus to test. I'll leave it at all men and women. 
and just make sure you uncheck this that says expand because it's going to make your potential reach up here like thousands or even millions more than your actual reach would be so you don't want that to be on so when we turn that off and we add some targeting um, yeah once we add some targeting you will see it so for example this is the biggest part of your ad which is your targeting so if we're going to be targeting something to do with the baby niche for example is that what we're doing I think yeah a baby necklace of some sort so if we're going to do something with baby so the biggest mistake people make in targeting is they go for the most obvious target that every single other advertiser is doing and it doesn't make it's not it's not going to make you any sales it may in the future make you sales once your pixel has picked up some data in terms of your niche but up front straight away i doubt that you're going to get profitable campaigns straight from the most obvious things so if you're going to do baby we can check out what the most common things are when you type in baby so you got like baby shower now that's 30 million baby food so these are real real broad things and the thing that i recommend is going very broad between one and a half million up until 15 million in this potential reach now there are times in niches where you may not have that broad audiences like this for example like a baby shower of 30 million people you may be in a small niche so in that in that case you will stack them and by stacking them i mean exactly this so you would obviously these would have to be related but you would stack them like this in one ad and it would come up to a minimum of 1.5 million up to 15 million that's if you're in a small niche now if you're in a big niche like we are right now baby we need to do more digging so you can start with baby shower and see what comes up from there and now as you can see here this is 30 million so we're trying to look for something that will lower this down to 15 million at some point so that's obviously too big and what I usually do is I do one interest per ad set so I'll usually have five to six to seven different ad sets per product testing different um, interest groups like this if I see that there is potential or I want to test out a new egg for some niches stacking works better than one interest but usually one interest works the best because it's usually a broad interest like this so you can see it says 30 million but only 19, 19 million people are in this audience in the US between these ages so usually you can test that the reason for testing only one is because if you have six or seven Facebook optimizers for six or seven and it, it may take some days you have really good sales some days it might drop because Facebook is going through each interest and trying to find people related so if you only have one in there they only have one to work with so we'll go for a little bit lower so now so basically I don't use audience insights that much you may have heard to use that but since they got rid of the affinity in that I don't use it I use these suggestions Facebook's Facebook give because they're really really good and things that you possibly will not think of will come up if you dig enough so for example I just saw Huggies so Huggies is a brand in babies so now we're going from something that is so super broad like baby shower where every single person possibly would like a baby shower because they've been to one or they know friends that have been to one or their friends are having a baby shower and they just like their photo about the baby shower and they've been put into this 30 million so it's not someone who's specifically going to buy a baby necklace but someone who is interested in Huggies which is a baby brand will potentially buy a baby product because they are already interested in a baby brand now as you can see now I got rid of baby shower you can see the new suggestions like Pampers and I think that is another brand Johnson's baby another brand baby center it's probably a website Johnson & Johnson a baby brand Fisher & Price babies are us so these are two big ones I definitely know um, shout out to Dan De Silva I've seen one of his videos where he's used baby Fisher Price and babies are us in it he's recommended that he uses those so you guys can check that out if you want to use these interests I'm just giving some examples Toys R Us for children babies um, so yeah 
So basically what I would potentially do is I would test out Huggies. As you can see, it's 2.3 million, so it sits in our, in our range, so that's perfect. And then I would possibly test Johnson's Baby, Fisher Price separately, Baby R Us and Toys R Us potentially together since they're very similar. And um, yeah, you can also test out like Baby Bottle. People who are interested in Baby Bottle potentially may buy something because a random person who, who is interested in Baby pro probably would not like something to do with Baby Bottle. So Infant Formula, there you go. So you can see all these suggestions. You can literally go and test one by one until you find your winner. So anyway, let's say we use Huggies as the example here. So the next step is placements. Now, since we're in the US, I hardly use... Um, so firstly, we'll have to go edit placements. I do not use desktop at all in the US now. I know a lot of people test both and split test them. But from in my experience, hardly anyone uses desktop and it's just not converting for me. So I basically go straight mobile only. I turn off audience network, messenger, Instagram. I usually do a separate ad for Instagram once I know the Facebook ad is working good. So if this interest, Huggies, is doing very well in my Facebook ad, I will split test its, its placement with Instagram because if it's working on Facebook, more than likely it may work on Instagram. And Instagram has a lot cheaper clicks and um, traffic. So I've had like three sales that cost me like 80 cents all up because of Instagram. So it's, um, it's definitely a good traffic source once the product and, and the interest is, is going well. Also, expand this Facebook and turn off instant articles and probably heard that. <laughs> Should turn that off. Um, yeah, so yeah, so that's set. You just want Facebook's feeds and that's it. Then we'll scroll down. We'll start with a daily budget between three and five dollars. Me personally, I don't want to spend as much money testing something I have no idea about. So I do it with three dollars and I run that for a couple of days. You can start with five if you want quicker results, but I start with three in a niche I do not know anything about. In the niche that I know about, I usually start between five and ten dollars depending on that. Now, leave it as conversions here. We'll leave it at a one day click. From my from what I've what I've been what I've learned, a one day click is for products that a little bit cheaper because it's it takes people less time to purchase from you. A seven day click is for people who may take a little bit longer to come back and you may retarget them to come back within seven days or they may click the same link and see the same ad within seven days because you're going over a couple of days to add and they'll convert that way for a higher price item. But I usually start with one day click and that's what converts best for me. And from there I will um, duplicate and go to a seven day to test that out also. So leave it at one day there. We'll go to the next page. Now usually what I do is I'll use this old page. I love hours, hours there. Um, yeah, so what you usually do is you go to your, you've set up a Facebook page, you post your image on there with your copy and once you post it, you come to this tab and you go use existing post. And what you'll do is you'll select that page you just made. You could also go here and create a, create a new Facebook page. I usually go um, either a community or a brand and product. Do the page of the name, select website, select upload your image, create the page. Then go to that page and create a page post. So just as if you're posting normal, as you can see, I posted an image of an owl. Uh, this was ages ago, I, don't, I can't remember how long ago, but this was just a, a normal post on there to interact and get engagement. As you can see, it's like 40 likes, couple comments and shares, so not too bad. But yeah, so you post it on there with your copy there with a link to your product, your product nice, um, nicely done there. And then just make sure your pixel is connected so it will be connected there and you've set it up properly in your store. If you want me to make a video about how you set up a pixel and do the whole thing, then let me know and make a video on that as well. So you'll see the pixel here and it will be green and it's working. Then once you're done, you just press place order. And since I haven't set up my pixel, it won't go through. But once you press place order, it will take, depending on the time you set up your ad, usually if you set up um, new ads, what I'll do is I'll come back to here. What I'll usually do is I'll set up <clears throat> the ad for the next day to start in the morning at 12 a.m. So it has a full day to start. 
If you're, if you're setting up the ad earlier during the day before probably nine o'clock in the morning, then that's fine. You can run it during that whole day. But if you're gonna do it after that, like right now it's 5 p.m. here or quarter past five um, in Australia. So I would not be starting an ad at any time here. I would start the ad to start tomorrow at 12 a.m. if I was to start an ad. And uh, yeah, one more thing. Um, I wanted to show you guys a tool that I use. It's called Canva.com. If you go to Canva.com, type it in Google Canva. It's basically Photoshop online and you can make your ads on here. Make sure your ads are um, 1200 by 1200 pixels because that's what the Facebook um, page post size of dimensions is. Make some nice, um, use a product image from AliExpress or wherever you want to get it from. Um, you, can, you can put the image there. You can use all these sort of elements here, text you can put on. I wouldn't recommend using text on the on the photo. It doesn't convert as well. Um, yeah, so you can basically do a lot of things here with, with um, editing your photo and it's free. You just need to sign up for an account and you can log in with your Google or your Gmail or Facebook even. So don't really have to do anything there. So yeah, if you're gonna do a video ad, um, make, sure you, make sure you download the video and cropped it to, what's the size? I don't really think they have a size, just make sure that it's not too small because the pixels will get all pixelated and it won't look very good. So just make sure the quality is good. And you do basically the same thing for a video here. So you will select, once you've posted, you will just select the video there. And yeah, place order and that's pretty much, and you're done. So I wanna thank you guys for watching. And yeah, so make sure, you subscribe to the channel, like this video, share it with your friends who, who want to see how to set up a profitable campaign. And if you want to see more of these types of videos and sort of like a tutorial going through, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to make some more videos. And also make sure you go ahead and join the Shopify Six Figure Wizardry group on Facebook. There is a link down in the description. So it's free um, and I'll be sharing more tips in that group. So I'll see you guys in the next video.